If you like a healthy soup, you're gonna love this simple to make seafood eggplant chowder that's both kidney friendly and very easy to make. So it contains eggplant, cod, red pepper, corn, and I use the base of a low sodium V8. So in order to make this delicious soup, what you wanna start out by doing is you're gonna cut and peel your eggplant. So usually I like to use one large eggplant, they didn't have any, so I've got two small ones. But you wanna start out by cutting and peeling it. And the easiest way to do that, you wanna cut the ends off and then just simply take your vegetable peeler and you're going to make some cuts or slices, peel right off, nice, you wanna have a nice sharp one, you peel off the ends of the, um, or the, the skin, and you get your eggplant all nice and ready to cut up. Now that my eggplants are peeled, I'm gonna cut those up. What I wanna do is I wanna cube them. So you're gonna take your eggplant and you're gonna cut it into fairly thick slices. So somewhere about, oh, about a half an inch thick. And then you're gonna take those, once you have cut the entire eggplant up, you're gonna simply take those and you're gonna make cuts both ways to where you're going to cube those so that you've got some nice cubes of eggplant. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up all the eggplant and then go on to the next ingredient here at Cooking with Craig. Now that I have my eggplant all diced and ready to go, which the reason I used eggplant instead of potatoes is because it's hearty, uh, makes the soup more of a thicker type of a stew. Um, so it gives it some, you feel full when you eat it. And it's also a lot better for your kidneys than potatoes, uh, low in potassium, low in phosphorus, all that good stuff. So um, eggplants are delicious, particularly for a kidney diet. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I've already cut up my, I've taken my red pepper and I've got that ready to cut up. And like I've shown in previous, I want to take and I'm going to slice the red peppers. And then I'm going to take the slices and I'm going to dice those and get those ready for the next step, which is going to um, be starting the cooking process. The only other thing I'm going to have to do as far as the vegetables go is I'm going to take a fresh ear of corn and I'm going to cut the corn off because I'm also going to use that in the soup as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get these red peppers ready, and then we're going to get things rocking and rolling. I've now cut up the red peppers and took the corn off the cob, so we're ready to start cooking. And again, the reason I use red pepper, it's just such a healthy vegetable. It's got so many great antioxidants and other vitamins that you know are great for kidney health. So Again, eggplant, red pepper, and corn make up the base along with some, I've got a pound of cod that I'm gonna put in there. So time to get going. What I'm gonna do is, as always when I cook, lots of olive oil. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in. I'm gonna add in garlic, add in all the ingredients, and I'm gonna start cooking well, not all the ingredients, I'm just gonna put the garlic and the red pepper. So I'm gonna get started with that. Now that I've cut up the red pepper, and I like to make some good size, I don't just dice it real small, because I want this to be hearty. So I've got the red pepper, I've got my corn, which I've cut off of the cob, I've got my eggplant, so I'm ready to start cooking. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my pot with a bunch of olive oil, I always use lots of olive oil. Healthy and it tastes delicious. So can't use too much olive oil. Then I'm gonna go ahead, turn my burner on here to about medium. 
so I don't burn it. And then I'm gonna use a very generous portion of garlic. I like to buy the fresh minced garlic. So I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple generous spoonfuls into my pot. So if you don't like garlic, you can cut down on it a little bit, but gotta use plenty of garlic. So garlic, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my red pepper. So first thing I wanna do here is go ahead and combine those two ingredients and sweat the garlic, the uh, red peppers down. So I'm gonna get those rocking and rolling. And then we're going to add the other ingredients. I'm going to add the eggplant. And then once the eggplant's ready to go, we'll go ahead and put the base, the stock, which again is the low sodium V8 uh, vegetable juice. It works as a great base for this. And I use equal parts V8. In this case, I'm going to use three cups of V8, which I've already poured. And then I'm going to put three cups of water. So. Right now I'm sweating down the red peppers and then I'll add in the other ingredients. All right, now that I've got my eggplant and my red peppers, I've sauteed those in the olive oil, so those are nice and soft. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add, oh, my dog just barked, somebody must be home. So I can't mute him. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, V8. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my V8 in along with equal parts of water. So in this case, I'm gonna have six cups um, for my broth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also add my corn to the mix. Get the corn in there. Make sure it gets all in the pot. There we go. And I'm gonna just stir that around. And then the last thing I like to do before I let that cook down for a bit is I'm gonna go ahead and add Worcestershire. I like a generous amount of Worcestershire. Use whatever you like. Um, it's low sodium. So everything that I use is either no sodium or low sodium so that it's good for overall health, kidneys in particular. So I don't really measure anything out. I'm more of just, you know, go with what you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put a bunch of Worcestershire into the pool. And then I'm gonna add, the only other spices I use for this recipe are gonna be onion powder and black pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my spices, let that cook down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna saute the fish. So I'll show you how to do that here in one second. So while my soup is cooking, okay, so I'm gonna get that nice and let all the flavors work through the veggies, get everything nice and soft. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cook my cod. So I've got about a pound of cod here and I've already poured olive oil in my sauteing pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take my cod and I like to just cut that up into a few slices. You can tear it, whatever you wanna do, and just throw that into the pan um, we'll end up breaking it up as it cooks, so it really doesn't matter. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into my saute pan, and I'm gonna cook that on like a medium low, just so I can get that nice and soft, and then I'm gonna add that into the soup. The cod's all finished. As you can see, it's more chunky now. So I've got it, I broke it up, and I'm gonna take that cod, which is, yummy and also a good fish, you know, as far as for kidney friendly. So I'm gonna take the cod and I'm gonna drop it into the party here, put it in the pool and get all that nice and mixed up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. And now I'm gonna let, the, I'm gonna let this cook um, for a good hour. So, I wanna let the veggies get nice and soft, get the flavor of the cod in there, um, cook down for about an hour, 
check it every once in a while and give it a taste if you have to add some more pepper or um, onion powder or Worcestershire, whatever works for you. And then pretty soon, we're going to be eating some yummy seafood eggplant chowder. The delicious soup is now done. I wish you were here because, oh, it smells so good. So this soup is very, very hearty, as you can see, loaded with veggies and fish and very healthy for you. So here at Cooking with Craig, I only make stuff that's healthy. It's either low or no salt. And again, very easy to make um, and real good. But let's see how somebody else likes it. So my wife gets to get in this one since my son's been in the past one. It's time to feed her. So are you ready to eat? I'm ready. I couldn't hear you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm I couldn't ready. hear you. Are Chef you ready? Craig. Get excited. I am so excited. Okay. I right. am, It just smells fantastic. All right. So let's see what we got here. Got a little bit of mm, I could get this fish here. chowder. We'll let it give her a starter because it's a little bit hot. So bon appetit. This looks wonderful. We'll give it a taste. It's very hot. Very hot. Hot like you. That was a good answer. Yeah. It's still really hot. We only have a minute or two. That is fantastic. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. What are you doing the rest of the week? So that concludes another recipe. Well, another, not recipe, but another version of Cooking with Craig. And again, don't forget to follow me and always hit the button so that you're notified when I put out other videos. Have a good one and make some soup. Compliments to the chef.